So in today's video, I'll be telling you about one major challenge I face as a Christian medical doctor. <laughs> so, I realized that when I attend church programs and listen to testimonies, I begin to analyze those testimonies that I've heard. Especially when they don't make medical sense. I begin to analyze it. It started slowly. This overanalyzing i realized that i was doing it and i wasn't comfortable with it someone gives a testimony and i'm there like okay i remember a particular one not so clear in my head but i think she was pregnant i think she had a um, um a twin gestation and they said the nurse removed the first baby and removed the second baby and later realized that there was a third baby and i'm like didn't this lady do a scan? So why didn't they know that there was a third baby? So just I just realized that when it's time for testimonies, my medical knowledge will not let me be at peace. I'll be analyzing, overanalyzing, reanalyzing testimonies given in church, and it became a problem to me. I be, I, I I got worried when I realized that that was a, that was what I was doing. I wasn't comfortable with it. So when I noticed that that was what I was doing, I knew it wasn't the right thing to do. And God was bringing it to my consciousness to stop it. So I knew some point, at some point I had to say, God, please help me. Let me stop using my medical knowledge to analyze people's testimonies. For someone to come out and say, this is a testimony, it means God has done something for this person. And I shouldn't sit down and dissecting analyzing what this person has said the my job is to celebrate with that person and give god the glory that he has done great in for this person whether i try to see if that testimony is true or not it doesn't change that it is a testimony for that person what i do now when i attend church or i am listening over the internet is when it gets to testimony section and i'm listening and my mind is telling me that this testimony i'm not what i do if it's if i'm watching online i pause the video and give some time so that the person can finish the testimony without me hearing and i move to the next one if it's a physical church i begin to distract myself do some things in my head or physically so that i'm not paying attention to that testimony the aim is so that i do not hear the testimony and begin to analyze it because i don't want my medical knowledge to be a hindrance to be a barrier to god's move in his people so i remember a testimony when someone talked about someone dying and then later he coughed and came back to life in my head i was like who certified the person dead how do you know the person was dead the person could have been deeply comatose with a GCS of about three. So, how did the person was dead medically? So that is the kind of things that run through my head, and I knew it was a challenge, and I had to make conscious efforts to stop it. So I don't know if you're going through such similar challenge like I do. Please stop analyzing people's testimonies. If that person has said it's a testimony, leave it that way. Let God be glorified. The Bible says in Revelation 12 verse 11, And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb on one side, and the word of the testimony. So if a person has said this is his or her testimony, let's leave it that way. Until I see you again, please like and share my video.